thanks to the video game Psy S, you can fall in Neptune. Speaking of falling in Neptune, we are right now. So imagine that emoji is you, and you're falling down Neptune. There's flashes of storms popping out everywhere you're falling. The poppings are so fast, you can't even see them with a naked eye. You have to use a slow down machine to look at them. Sadly, there's no such thing as a slow down machine. When you get any deeper, you'll be blown away by the strong winds in Neptune. There's also a degree in Neptune that will might tip your eyes. The degree goes over speech to 60 miles per hour. But the winds in Neptune go over 100,000 miles per hour. Even faster than the winds on Earth. Did you know the winds on Neptune are the fastest winds in all of the cosmos? The wind is so strong, it breaks up power barriers. I don't even know what that means. Maybe I said the words wrong. You can't see the strong winds in the degree because it's covered by methane clouds. These methane clouds are so cold that you might look like a baby. After that, this is where you really going to miss your home planet, Earth. And when you miss your home planet Earth, you get the blues. Look at the bright side. Neptune and Earth do have something in common. It's that they're both blue. Another thing that will cheer you up is that you will see aliens in UFOs. Get I. Hey. Do you like to see yourself in a cartoon way? Well, Neptune does that. And I mean seriously. You'll be very scared if you see right me here. Do you know how deep you are? I can tell you. Well, 800 miles down. Which is the same length as the moon's top to the moon's bottom. Next. Transmitted light hits you, making you look bright. Next, you see the only satellite that got in Neptune. It's called Voyager 5. It reminds you of home. You are thinking of the moments that you are on Earth, and that makes you sadder. Next, you get very angry. With a transmitting force. The transmitting force is in orbited other forces. They're pushed together, making you start to burn with all of your strength. You get burned more when you got deeper from Neptune. When you start to burn, the transmitted forces push themselves out of the cosmos. When you start to land, or transmit, or vanish. Finally, you made it to the core. It's a solid crystal land. Too bad you got burned up when you started to land. Why? Because you missed your planet, the Earth. 